Good afternoon, APN. I'm Gabe with APN for October 25th, 2024. Gabe, you know what you want? No, but I'm kind of hungry, so what is? Cheese bosco sticks, marinara sauce, steamed broccoli, mandarin oranges, and milk. Now, to the birthdays. All right, now walk with me. I'm sorry if I say your name's wrong. Now I just want to say one thing. I'm not really sorry. You see, guys are a bunch of nerds. But happy birthday to Reese Johnson, Rose Rao, and Drew Hughes. Also tomorrow, happy birthday to Owen Nichols. On Tuesday, happy birthday to Grayson Clapham, Jarris Utsi, Maya Knuckle, and Gavin Walker. And for the one and only birthday before Halloween, I just want to say a special happy birthday to Silas Edinger. And you know something a little disappointing? There may not be sports this week, but guess what? Cross Country got third in the state. Now that's probably doing good for the eighth grade team, so good job to them. Now let's take you over to Jason. Today is National Chucky Day. For those who don't know who Chucky is, he's a fictional horror character who is a doll. His most famous movie series is Child's Play. Well, that's at least his most famous. He's played in other ones, though. That's all from us, Jay. Have a great day. Hey, staff and students, welcome to Friday. It is Friday, October 25th. 2024. Few announcements today. First of all, I want to say great job this week on pumpkin decorating during advisory. Uh, have seen some sneak peeks of some great pumpkins. Uh, nice job trying to make a pumpkin that fits the categories that we have. Um, as a reminder, the pumpkins will be turned in on Monday after advisory. So Monday is your last chance to work on your pumpkins. They will be uh, your student council members from your advisory. If you have those, we'll bring them down to the lobby and the pumpkins will be on display Monday afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, we have judges from central office who will be around the building judging those pumpkins and we will announce the winners of the popcorn parties at that point. And next Friday on Friday, November 5th, or I'm sorry, November 1st, Friday, November 1st, next Friday, um, we will have the annual pumpkin drop. It will be during advisory. There will be two, one for eighth grade during advisory during Flex A and one for seventh grade during Flex C. We have AEP Ohio coming out with the tallest bucket truck in all of central Ohio to drop the pumpkins. We'll be in the back parking lot for that activity. Um, we'll try to make them into the trash can. Chances are good that that won't happen and we'll get a messy mess. Um, reminder also for next Friday, it is our annual costume day. It's the day after Halloween. Um, reminder for costumes, we wanna keep this day fun and light for everyone. Um, we encourage people to dress in costumes that day if you would like to, um, but a couple important reminders in order to keep the day positive and safe. Absolutely no weapons or look-alike weapons, absolutely no hair or face paint, and no masks that day. Uh, we want to see your smile throughout the day. Also, just a reminder, if a teacher says that uh, part of your costume is too distracting um, and needs you to take that off during the day, Reminder to make sure you follow those expectations. Also, today is the last day of the first quarter. We are one fourth of the way through the school year. So that means a fresh start on um, Monday as you come back. We will head into second quarter. Reminder that printed report cards for first quarter will be sent home in a week or so uh, with you. And we will notify your families that those printed report cards are coming home. But again, great job during the first quarter. For many of you, we are proud of your hard work. And as we head into second quarter, start the second quarter strong. Whatever grades you get for these first few assignments or assessments are what you are going to be averaging your grades with for that entire second quarter. So do your best on that. Next week during Topic Tuesday, we'll be meeting you in the um, gym. Mr. Moy and I will be presenting some things to you. Um, so that'll be Topic Tuesday. You will be in the gym. We will have more on that next week, which takes us to, I think so, yes, this week's Funny Friday. Here they go. Three great jokes. Let's start with this one. It's a Halloween joke. Why are ghosts such bad liars? Why are ghosts such bad liars? Because you can see right through them. There you go. All right, next one. What did the man say to his wife when he brought her the wrong kind of flowers? What did the man say to his wife when he brought her the wrong kind of flowers? Wait for it, wait for it. He said, whoops, a daisy. 
<laughs> I like that one, but I really like this one. Hang on. What's the difference between, or what's the dangerous difference between a dragon and a dinosaur? That's right. What is the dangerous difference between a dragon and a dinosaur? Well, a dragon would never explode, but a dino might. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, that's all we have for today. Students and staff, let's make it a great day. Or not, the choice is yours. How's it going, Jay? I'm Luke, and this is News of the World. On October 25th, 1998, a future MLB superstar, Juan Soto, was born. Juan Soto is a Dominican baseball player currently playing for the New York Yankees in the outfield. This all-around lefty wasn't always on the Yankees. His journey began in a small town in the Dominican Republic, where baseball was life for him. Later on, Juan Soto was reached out to by the Washington Nationals organization and signed a contract with a $1.5 million signing bonus in 2015. He had major success in the minor leagues and was quickly able to grind his way up to the MLB team. He debuted in 2018 as a 19-year-old, becoming the youngest player to play in MLB history. His second season in 2019 was even better, putting up solid numbers and even helping lead his team to a World Series championship win. His 2021 season was his first all-star season and even MVP runner-up. Now he resides in New York as a Yankee. He has put up great numbers such as a 288 batting average and a 41 home run so far. He and his team have a chance to win the World Series against the Guardians, but sadly, I have to root against you, Han Soto. I'm a Guardians fan. That's all for me. Have a good day, Jay, and go Guardians. Hey Jay, I'm Evan, and today I'm reviewing the popular video game Fortnite. The game Fortnite is owned by Epic Games and is rated for teens. Fortnite came out in July 2017. Fortnite is a third-person, fast-paced game that you can play with your friends or by yourself. There are two main modes to Fortnite. The modes are Battle Royale, which is my favorite, and Creative. Battle Royale is a mode where you can play with up to a four-person team. In Battle Royale, you and your team drop from the battle bus and search for loot to survive. The goal is to eliminate all the other teams to win a victory royale. The other mode is creative, where you can fight in custom arenas and game modes that other people made. I would give Fortnite an 8 out of 10 because of the fun, fast-paced matches. Another reason I would give it this rating is because of how much you can play with your friends. The reason I would not give Fortnite a 10 out of 10 is because there are a lot of toxic players that don't make the game fun sometimes. The last reason that I would give it this rating is because the recent seasons have not been very good compared to the original seasons. That's all for me, and have a great day, Jay. What's up, Jay? I'm Luke, and this is Vocab of the Day. The vocab word of the day is jounce. Jouncing is a verb, and it means to move up and down unexpectedly, like bouncing in a car or going over a speed bump, or like jumping when experiencing turbulence in a plane. Again, it is usually unexpected, like a jolt of shock. Hey, Luke, watch out, speed bump. What? Ah! That was jouncing. Let's see what Luke's doing in here. Oh, no. Guys, I can't stop jouncing. Oh, have a good day, Jay. Hi, APN. It's me, Morgan. And on this day in 2002, Irish actor Richard Harris died in London, and he was 72. He died from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma is a relatively aggressive cancer that makes a lymph node swollen. Richard Harris was known for being very talented on the stage and playing very intense characters that shaped his image as an actor. He... The, his most famous role was Dumbledore in the Harry Potter series. After Richard Harris died, his role was replaced by Michael Gambon. Our book talk this week is a student recommendation. Thank you, Nolan Beeson, for recommending Wings of Fire. This is a book written by Tui Sutherland. It is a fast-paced and detailed fantasy genre fiction book um, about an epic dragon adventure. Um, there are actually seven dragon tribes in this book, and they have been at war for generations, locked in this endless battle over an ancient lost treasure. A secret movement, however, is determined to bring an end to the fighting with the help of a prophecy, a foretelling that calls for a great sacrifice. Again, if you like fantasy fiction, this will be an excellent choice for you. This is actually the first book in a series of, I believe, 14 or 15 books I'm sure my Wings of Fire fans will come down and correct me if I'm wrong with a 16th anticipated book coming out soon. So I have the first three 
books in the series in the junior high library. If you're interested, come on down and we'll get one checked out to you. Thanks so much and happy reading. Hey Jay, I'm Drew. And I'm Colton, and this is a City Guesser Challenge. In this challenge, you will have to click worldwide and you will go within throughout the whole world and based off of how far away you get, that will decide how good you did. This is a boys versus girls challenge and the team with the best average wins. All right, this is our first contestant. What's your name and grade? McGuire, grade eight. All right, click worldwide and let's see your guess. Fourteen miles out. That's a good first answer. Thank you, McGuire. Uh, I'm here with Audrey. And you gotta put your guess in in three, two, one. Ohio <laughs> State. You're not going to zoom in? Drum roll, please. And the winner is... We have the boys with... Well, this is our time, J.A. Have a great day.